Well, hello guys. We still don't have a new one. That's annoying, isn't it? Welcome back. I'm Sim UK. This is the Catch Carp and Course, and you join me in the next episode after our first ever win. Um. Hmm. Can I sign in with this? this what could it be could it be a picture of me i rather think not okay whatever that is it doesn't want to load does it maybe i'm uploading all my catches to this i don't know Oh, I've just realized that for each 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so the maximum level you can get to is 50. That makes this a really very small game. Oh, that's what this is. It's waiting for you to hover over one of these. Take part in the Oxleeds challenges. Catch 15 mirror carp. Oxleeds cooperative catch two boss fish. Okay, what's this? No, I just want to go back. Oh, there's back. Right, where haven't we been? I don't... Have I been there? Yes. Yes, I've been there. Oh, look at this. Catch 75 carp. I've already got 5 out of 75. Catch 15 boss fish. See, that's telling me I've got 0, but the game tells me I've caught 2 already. Boss fish caught. Nine. I've caught nine boss fish. That can't... But that says I've caught none. That must be a bug. I don't, I don't know where the bug is. Either I have caught nine and the bug is online, or I haven't caught any and the bug is in the game. Bit frustrating. Right. I think we're going to treat ourselves to something. So this has been absolutely fabulous. So I'm going to change this. Predator. Pike. So this we're not changing at all, but um, I might do something with these. Um, so what have we got here? This is perfect for... Silt. So that's a silt rig, which is great. I'm going to change the line to be 12 pounders. I might upgrade this, you know, to something because we, we won quite a bit of money in that last uh, thing. Carp spirit. Camo braid is made from Dyneema polyester blend, resulting in a high strength, no elasticity. And an incredible abrasion resistance. And that's for all fish. Up to 40 pounds. So let's treat us ourselves. And go for that. Why not? Who wouldn't want to do that? So. See, that doesn't have uh, any information about its break its strength um, it's an entry level rod solid cast in action but a soft enough tip for hard fighting fish means all situations are covered so why would you need any different rod most of these rods from what I've seen They offer incredible performance and looks. It's all about looks in this game, or so it seems. 
Um, the slim and lightweight carbon fibre blanks have a progressive casting action and fast tip recovery for long, accurate casts. You know, why? I mean, do I need to do that then? Am I gaining anything from that? So, um... No weight. Drop shot. What's a drop shot then? The weight and super sharp bait shack hook makes this rig ideal for dropping for drop shotting. Finesse touches are all you need to get the lure dancing right where the fish are. Yeah. They all say the same thing. I don't really understand what that means. A jig head. Classic jig head design combined with a super sharp bake shack hook. The perfect choice for the finesse fisherman. Again, see, it doesn't mean anything compared to what I'm using, which is, I think, what am I using? Oh, I'm using no weight. Use this setup for crank baits, jerk baits, spinner baits, swim baits, spoons, and top water lures. So that is what I'm doing. Okay, so this setup here, I've changed it ever so slightly, but I think it's going to absolutely do us proud. Um, I would like to change this to something. Let's get... Actually, yeah, okay, so we've got one waggler, we've got one uh, silt-based um, ledger fish system going on. Um... So what can we do here? Let's see what options we have. They're all about the same price. It's a rig that suits using a pop-up bait that can be fished almost anywhere on any venue, whether it be to showing fish, low weed, silt and gravel. This rig incorporates a ridge monkey apex medium curve two double X hook. Does it just mean you can use it anywhere? So, okay. Let's treat ourselves. We'll go for that. And... Wow, these are expensive. Holy nuts! Right, I think we're going to go for chopped worm because we caught absolutely nothing with these at all, did we? So let's go for... Let's go for the fluoro maggot. So that's going to float on the surface. And if they come up and take it, the waggler will go and then we'll know. So this is my new predator rig. I don't know if it's going to work. It's a total um, gamble. Hot fish boilie, a unique fish meal boilie made with GLM, tuna meal, factor infusing with a blend natural spices and garlic powder. Oh god, I thought I owned that. Right, which do we own? These. Okay. Spod mix. Combination of many different particles, seeds and sweet corn, containing natural oily spice, spicy and sweet attractors, including hemp and maize. Right, I want something that is going to the ultimate pellet with natural Antarctic krill and krill oil. This pellet is super attractive with low oil content. All right, we're going to go for that. So this is my new rig, guys. We're going to go test it out today. We are going to go somewhere a bit more exotic. We are going to go to Amsterdam. No, we're not. Rotterdam, rather. Uh, Pearl Lake in wherever the hell that is. Okay, so we're going to go for this. We're going to say uh, Pearl Lake Predator and we're going for the length. Let's get our Predator set up. Ap 
Arapaima? Giant wolffish? Peacock bass and red-tailed catfish. How big do these get? Up to 60 pounds. What? We've only got one line that goes up to 40 pounds. How big? 344 pounds? Uh, let's go back. Is there perhaps some stuff that I haven't unlocked or something? Because... Hmm, interesting. All right. Oh, why does it change? Why can't it just stay on what I left it on? Pearl Lake, Predator, join event. Uh, okay, start now. No, 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 that one. All righty, wish me luck. We'll start down the bottom and work our way up, I think. I fished underneath the bridge before. I got loads of nibbles, but no catches at all. Not one. Right, let's go here. Claim the peg. Just the hook length. I think we'll go about three feet. Let's try that. I may need to get a better rod so that I can cast further. Personally, I feel like you should be able to cast further with these, but whatever. So I've got to find some silt with this one. <laughs> First time. That's pretty nice. Alright, let's get the spot out. Almost perfect. Now it's too short. Son of a bitch. And that's gone to the other side of the flipping lake. And we've got a catch on the go. Sod the spot. Fish on. It doesn't feel like too big a fish. But pretty quick. And that's pretty much instant. Oh, this is not a small fish. What is this thing? This is one of those carpy type things that we caught uh, a couple of a couple of fishes back. Come on, little fishy. Come on, little fishy. Come to daddy. Come to daddy and give him a nice big jump on the lead. Come on. Say little fishy, look at that, he's pretty bloody strong. We've got the new line on now, that's probably what's helping us. Is the line isn't uh, stretching or as delicate as it was before. I can't believe how close he was to the shore and now how far away he is. Come here. This would be a fantastic start for us. Oh, steady. Getting all feisty now. Right, no, there's a fisherman there. I'm not going that way. Come back here. Come back here. He, you can see he's fighting. He's trying to swim away and we're literally holding him so that he can't move. Come on, boy. It will hurt less if you just get out of the water, I promise. As soon as you get out of the water, we'll take a little photograph and then you can go back in the water, alright? Come on, son. Come on. Come on. Well, I thought this was going to be easy 
Right at the beginning, I thought, yeah, nice easy one to start with, but no. Nope. No, he's a, he's a feisty one. He's a meanie. He doesn't want to come out of the water. Come on, that's it. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Come close, come close. No, don't break the hook. Oh, so close to being netted. Look at this. You can see the net icon over his head, even though he's like 50 feet away. 23 yards away, I should say. Come on! Get over here! Do you know, I'm so glad I upgraded our line. There we go, we got him. Nice! What a start! So big, we have to hold him up under the water. A Mekong catfish. 85 pounds. Wow! 85 pounds, 8 ounces, 46.94 inches. That is one hell of a start. Looky, looky, looky at that. Brilliant. So whatever number two combo is, it's a winner. Back into the silt. That's where we want to be. Right, what were we doing? We were trying to get the spot out fix this. Are you kidding me? Alright. What have we got? Just wasting my time, game. That's not quite what I meant to do. Nope, that's too short. Oh, we're off again. Poor strike, but fish on. That's the uh, that's line number one. So both of our um, casts have attracted a fish, and this doesn't look like a teeny tiny little nipper neither. This could be uh, this could be great for us. Oh, hang on! The first fish we caught didn't count. Oh, that sucks. This one will. This one will definitely count. Come on. What do we got here? Yeah, that's the carp head. That's what I thought we'd caught. So, does that count? No. Sacre bleu. So these, these setups are very effective. Just not for what we're doing today. God damn it. Right, let's get the spot on. I don't even know why I'm doing this. We're already getting hits. Oh my word. Fish on, it says. Fish on. This could be a long day of great fishing where we finish last. Do you know what I mean? That's what this day is feeling like already. The most amazing days fishing where we end up in absolutely last place with zero catches, having had one of the best fishing days ever. <laughs> That's what we're looking at here. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on. Don't be an awkward sod. Just come here. See, I think we tied him out. Tied him out. There we go. Right, this one has to ca count, surely. A red Paku. I can't even remember if that was in the list. Personal best. I think it's the first one I've caught. And we still have zero fish. Yeehaw!
Back in the silk. I tell you what, that is spot on. Please do this right first time. I don't think we need to do this, but... Well, that was absolute toss, wasn't it? Never seen anything quite as bad as that. Oh, yes, I have. I did it earlier. Okay, that has gone clear beyond the flipping lake. And we've got another catch. Can you believe this? Right, I'm sorry. I know you want me to deal with that, but I've, three times now I've tried to get the spot on the go. Okay, I'll lock it there, and now, now we'll go for this one. Hook is slipping. Probably the only one that actually counts, I'd have thought. Right, so now that the spot is set up, we can uh, cast comfortably knowing that we can't cast more than five feet. Yeehaw! Let's try over here. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is my example of how not to do it, just to make sure that you understand how not to do it. Christ almighty. Oh, instantly lost. All right, I think we spent enough time with those two. Let's get this one out here. I have a sneaky suspicion we might find some... I don't know what's going on with my casting today. I can only apologise. See if the old pike catcher has... A oh my god! That is unbelievable! I was going to say, see if the old... Pike catcher has what it has what it needs for this particular setup. I can't believe we caught a fish before I'd even got halfway through that sentence. Well, we haven't caught him yet. Let's be fair. We got a fish on. That's a long way from being caught. We seem to have about the right balance right now. I mean, he is pulling away, which is a bit of a problem. Still pulling away. This is not a tiddler, ladies and gentlemen. This is a big, big fish. And it can't be a pike, because there aren't any in this uh, in these waters. Right, here we go. Reeling them in, reeling them in. 73. You pillock. You greedy pillock. going so well. Did I, did I get a little bit too up my own ass there? I think maybe I did. Maybe I did. Maybe I got a bit overexcited. But that's what's cool about this game is it does get you excited. That part of the game they've got absolutely spot on. If they don't balls this up, this really could be one of the best fishing games ever released, potentially. But it's not right now. They just need to do some work on it. It's a good game at a good price. I'm impressed with it so far. But you do have to ignore all of the problems, and there are quite a, th quite a few. Right, let's see if we can do that again. But this time we'll be a little bit more patient. Because so far we've caught bugger all. And that's not good for anyone. I 
or whatever that was. It was a beast. I think I might upgrade my rod next. I'd like to be able to cast a little further. We had 15 minutes of high excitement. Prepare yourselves for 15 minutes of nothing at all. No catches, no bites, no excitement. Just the gentle ripple of the water on the shore. I think whatever beast was over there we've scared off. Let's try down this side for a bit. Or let's pick up line number two and see who's on line number two. Fish on. I hope this one counts. I don't think it's going to. It looks rather familiar. We've been here before. This is a fish that isn't on the list. I wish there was a way to check the list. There is, I don't know what it is. It's an awkward sod, this one. Look at him. It's like flipping Speedy Gonzalez. Fish on! What I don't get is how the hook can slip and then be strained quite so much. I mean, I get the strain, the strain, no strain, strain, no strain. But for the hook to be literally slipping out of his mouth one second and then fully strained the next. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not buying it. Seems a bit, a bit gamey. Do you know what I mean? Look how fast this thing is. Oh, not a good time for a phone call. Ah!
Finally. Uh, I've been on the phone the whole time. What? Oh, I can't believe... I literally hung up the phone. Then we got that bite, and I thought we were in. And before I even had a chance to do anything, we'd lost it. How frustrating. This has been a very strange fishing experience today. We started off on fire, but in the wrong ballpark. And now, nothing at all. We're not getting a bite on anything, anywhere. Even the wrong bites don't exist anymore. Been a, a very difficult fishing experience, this one. I think I'm going to have to turn my DPI up on, uh, on G-Hub as well, because this is still not quite right. Still not quite where we want it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three out there. We've got four minutes left. I'm going to cast out one and two. Quick as I can. You never know, we might get one last fish in. Oh my god, look at this. As if by magic. And three's gone as well. Whoa, why can't I pick anything up? Fish on! So it seems this this spinner, I don't know if this is a bug or true of real life or what, I don't know how to sort of quantify this to be honest with you, but it seems our spinner, irrespective of whether we're spinning or just leaving it in the water, just catches fish. It's amazing. Is this one actually going to count? Ooh, nice. Peacock bass, 22.67 inches, 41, uh, 4 pound, 41 pound, you pillock, 4 pound, yay, we got one, we caught a fish, with 4 minutes to go, we're on the board, we are last, pretty much exactly everything I predicted, to be honest with you, uh, let's get number 1 out there again, Actually, let's let's put it right by the right by the shore. Don't know why. It's probably a stupid move. Something different, isn't it? All right. So we got just under three minutes to catch uh, a fish that's uh, 160 inches long. We can do 140. That was a perfect strike, look. This is a big fish. Wouldn't it be amazing if in the next two and a half minutes I could pull in this fish and it was 138 inches long or whatever it is I need, 136 inches long and we suddenly went from last to first. Wouldn't that be a fantastic finish to a very interesting day? I think, I think that would be great. I will, however, settle for just pulling the bloody thing in. Because this is not going to be easy. 130 yards. Here we go. And number two is off. They all go off in the last two minutes. Have you noticed? Every single time. 112 yards. Come on, fish. Pulling away from me now. They're all going. One, two, and three. All have fish on them. How crazy. One minute and 20 seconds to pull this fish in. I'll be honest, it's not looking good. 140 yards out there now, and seemingly in no hurry to come in this direction whatsoever. Come on. He's not diving that deep. I want to know what's on the end of this line. Come on, game. Work with me. He's 170 yards away. A 
not going to do it in time. We're never going to know what it was. Hundred and sixty, hundred and fifty, I got eighteen seconds. It's just not gonna happen. I had to really push hard. I couldn't be casual about it. He's he's still on! He's still on the hook! Oh, I lost him. Oh, who knows? That could have been the winner. That could have been a monster. God damn it. What an interesting fish that was. What could have been? What could have been? What did we catch, finally? Uh, an 85-pound Mekong catfish, which I'm sure was in the list. Or at least, I, I say I'm sure. I'm sure it wasn't. But I could have sworn it was in the list for fish that you could catch. I'll have to check back. 16-pound Big Head Carp. Again, I'd have thought that would be in the list, but it wasn't. The only one that counted was the peacock bass, and that was only a four pounder and uh, 22.67 inches, which is good enough to be in last place. But what a fantastic day of fishing, considering we finished last with one fish that actually uh, qualified for this competition. I had an absolute blast. Apologies for the very long phone call in the middle. It was my daughter. She's on holiday at the moment, which is why I'm being able to make so many fishing videos. Um, but, you know, I haven't seen her for three days, and when she rings, I really do want to talk to her, so that's what that was. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. What was our best fish? Ah, uh, see, that was our best catch within the realms of the rules of this particular competition, but it most certainly was not our best catch today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care of yourselves. Till next time, goodbye for now.